to another season of Conference USA football on Stadium. Many believe the conference title is going to have to go through this very town. Huntington, West Virginia, home of the Marshall Thundering Herd, the favorites to win the East and heavy favorites today against VMI of the SCS. Scott Walkenheim, the head coach in his fifth season, says this is by far his best team. He says, I don't think people realize how good we are. Maybe they'll show these Marshall fans just how good they really are. Kickoff is next here on Stadium. Welcome back to the Joan. Here come the Marshall Thundering Herd, Isaiah Green, the quarterback leading the way as Marshall hosts VMI. Predicted to win the Conference USA Eastern Division, 14 of the 26 first place votes. FIU got nine of them, FAU got three of them. And a good showing tonight as Marshall fans are ready to go for 2019. They are jacked up for the 20th meeting between VMI and Marshall. Old Southern Conference foes when they were both in FCS play. Marshall lost the first five games of this series and they have not lost since. 14 straight as you see the stadium filled with Kelly Green won four of their last five to finish the 2018 campaign including the Gasparilla Bowl a victory over South Florida and the 2019 season is underway with a touchback and now we see this VMI offense the defense has been bad for VMI the offense though has been prolific VMI with one of the top quarterbacks in FCS play Reese Yudinski over 3,000 yards last year and he didn't even start every game yeah you got to slide it's early in the year your, your adrenaline is flowing I understand he's trying to dive and get that first down setting up a third and short here the running back is Ramsey. He'll throw it again. It's a screen pass caught by Jevion Laura and shoved back. Lost a yard, and it's fourth down for VMI. Number five, carry on Morrell made that play. That's a little swing pass out there. You're trying to use your other receiver to block, and he fights through the block here on your left of your screen. You'll see he fights through it. He may not get credit for that tackle. He should, though, because to really grow and gain and build their confidence. And it sounds like this coaching staff is very high on the progress that Isaiah Green has made over the spring and summer. Has his top running backs back, all of his tight ends. They do have to replace some in the wide receiving core, but three receivers set on first and 10. Yudinski to throw again, pressure coming, and he will not escape the grasp of Kobe Cumberlander. Came from the edge, and Jaquan Yuli was able to get there as well. And now the handoff, Ramsey gets back near the original line of scrimmage, but it will be third down and long for VMI on return for his last season. Here, Chris, Armani Levias right here in the slot. Very versatile guy, using as a blocker here. This is one of those tight ends, Xavier Gaines, near the 30-yard line. So they get a nice chunk of it back after the penalty on first down. It's pretty rare that you have two tight ends like this where you can stay in so-called 12 personnel, one back, two tight ends, and you can run pretty much every look at the defense. They can't really substitute out, and you can put tight ends when normally you would have slot receivers. These guys are, are very, very versatile. It's a pickup of 10. Green to throw it again. Now in trouble. Sidesteps the tackler and picks up positive yardage. It'll be third down and two. Winning this division last year. That's exactly what happened. First and 10 for VMI. And not much running room there for Alex Ramsey. Cut down in a hurry by Tavante Beckett. They got trips to the near side of the field. Yudinski to throw. He gets hit. Darius Hodge, the sack. Conference USA all freshman last year. Number 44 right here off the edge. Watch this, they're bringing pressure again. 
Just a slant inside. That's actually looks like a four-man rush. They just won their one-on-one -on -one matchups. And now only a three-man front, AJ. They're hanging back on third down in about 17. And it's a draw play. And a good tackle by Jaquan Yuli. It's three and out for VMI. And Isaiah Green, slow start to this one. One for three, four yards, but he's looking to throw it again. Screen pass and look out. Broken tackle. Tyler King got out of it. Connor Riddle's going to be kicking himself. Connor Riddle read that play beautifully. The screen pass, he comes up ready for the tackle for a loss and just cannot hang on. That's one of the things that Tim Cramsey was saying last night, the offensive coordinator. He says everybody thinks that Tyler King is this speedster, this electrifying running back. He can run out of some tackles. Not easy to bring down. Second and five, Green. Great throw, and the catch is made by Taven Richardson, the transfer from Kentucky. Let's see, Marshall going after the young freshman safety, Josh Surratt there. Not bad coverage, just got there a split second too late. Good throw, good catch. And that's who they wanted to go after, Surratt. Most inexperienced player on this defense as he misses a tackle, and King would be a 50-plus yarder. It looks like they got VMI to jump, and that would be an automatic first down. VMI is arguing it's a false start. Offside. The result of the orange will be a first down. That's Warren Dabney, a sophomore. He says, yep, that's my bad. And there were a couple guys that jumped. Dabney wasn't the only one. There was a vet move by Levi Brown. You saw as soon as he saw the encroachment, he snaps that ball and makes sure you get the call. Do not give. And 25 seconds. Do not get the defenders the time to get back and get out of the neutral zone. So a huge break for Marshall. Levi Brown anchoring this offensive line with so much experience, yet he's the only senior on the offensive line. Xavier gains the tight end, goes in motion. Green has all day. Down the middle, caught, touchdown, Marshall. Willie Johnson. This happens so much in football, Chris. After a big mistake defensively, the offense seems to capitalize. And right here, Isaiah Green has all day to sit and survey the field. Willie Johnson. Watch Levi Brown here, number 61. With the finish. Coaches love that finish. That's, I tell you what, Levi Brown's the MVP of that drive. That's a vet move, snap the ball, forcing the encroachment, and then all of a sudden you just stand up strong and let your, your big quarterback stand tall in the pocket and deliver a dime. And Justin Rohrwasser kicks the extra point. When you've got that kind of time, there's I mean, no way you can stop it. Think about it. When you have that much time, Chris, I feel like I'd start to get nervous, like I have too much time. Like, we got a beautiful night here, Chris. The tailgaters were in full effect. This crowd is ready to roll. All right, let's see what Reese Udinsky has here. He's four for five in the game, but most of the passes have been short. Hands it off again. Now, they've been running the ball a lot more than I expected early in this game. Maybe they're trying to catch Marshall off guard. They're not fooling Tavante Beckett. Simple little outside zone, there's nothing, nothing doing there. Marshall feels really good about their matchup. This offense is not built to continue to convert third and long. They're 0 for 3 on third down. Yudinski backwards pass, dangerous, it's caught. But Martin can't even get back to the line of scrimmage. A really bad decision to throw that. Because if that is not completed, that would be a fumble. And they lose yards anyway. Just a simple four-man rush by Marshall right there. 
Jaquan Yu Lee was just adding to his back, most likely a man to man type coverage, and he's just adding in. And so it looks a little bit like a, a five man blitz, but no, he's just adding right in there and he puts the pressure on and forces that ball, and they're backed up once again, punting. Gets it away. Marshall came after it. Almost got there. Here comes Talit Keaton. To the sideline midfield. He's to the 40. Gets a block and he is gone. Touchdown Marshall. A 67 yard return. And AJ, how about this block as he got to the boundary? I mean, just a disciplined special team play here by Marshall. Keaton <laughs> finishes through the line. You gotta love it. You just felt it. You felt the momentum like this place was ready to burst. Marshall was doing all that they could early on, it seemed like, to, to not move the chains. And then all of a sudden, one big touchdown. And then bam, it stacks up quickly with your VMI. Just beautiful vision here by Keaton. Mm, good block on the punter there. We couldn't see exactly actually who did it, but it was actually very disciplined, smart play. Moving him onto the stretcher here to try to get him off the field. He got his helmet off. His Head taped up so it can't move, and everyone on the team now is coming out to midfield to see their teammate off. What a scene this is as the fans rise and the entire Marshall team huddles around Jaquan Yuli. Gives you goosebumps. Yeah, that tells you all you need to know about the type of person Jaquan Yuli is. And the whole sideline empties out to try to give you your best whistle. Just like they're going to break it down on him before he goes. And again, that's Jacob Harris, who Yuli ran into. And what a great sign. Arm raised, waving to the crowd. And we are Marshall champ. First out here at John C. Edwards Stadium. He could have had about a 90 yard touchdown reception. Green to throw it again. It's caught by Tyler King. I beg your pardon. That's Artie Henry, the wide receiver from Sarasota, Florida. BMI dropping back into a two safety look now, trying to give some help over top and not put their corners on the island. It's a screen pass and it's set up. Corey Gamage has the first down on the final play of the first quarter. Gamage, another freshman. You mentioned they lost Tyree Brady, Marcel Williams, but they got some youngsters they're real high on. Willie Johnson caught a touchdown pass to get the scoring going. And then Talik Keaton, redshirt freshman, took a punt home, 67 yards. And and it's first and 10 to start the second quarter from the 27 yard line. Screen pass is set up again. That time it's the tight end, Armani Levias. They love their tight ends here at Marshall right now. That's that 12 personnel we talked about. Armani Levias and Xavier Gaines both in the game, but it looks like you're in a two back situation with three receivers in there. But absolutely, it's not. You have one of your tight ends looks like a fullback, the other one's a slot receiver. You can kind of disguise it and just put them all over the field when you have these versatile athletes like they do with the tight end room. Green to throw it again, feels the pressure, gets out of it. He's directing traffic and steps out after picking up the first down. Smart. Heady play there by Isaiah Green. I thought for a minute he was going to put his head down and try to test somebody in the secondary. He felt that pressure coming off the right side, and then nobody was home on the backside for this VMI defense. They have a lot of different ways to beat you offensively, this Marshall team, and it all starts up front with this offensive line. They feel very confident that they can 
do many different things behind them because they know they're going to be stout throughout four quarters straight. Second down and eight for Green. Going up top again. It's Holden! And Artie Henry scores again! 53 yards. Isaiah Green again has some pressure on him. They do a good job of picking up the blitzers. And they just can't find a way. Caleb Tucker try. Gorgeous night here as the sun sets on Huntington, West Virginia. We're in the second quarter. And Marshall has a 21-0 lead. A really slow start to the game. They had a couple of three and outs, a couple of uh, early penalties. But no issues the last oh, 10 minutes of game time or so. They just kept off a seven play, 89 yard drive with a 53 yard touchdown. Laura top two on the team in a bunch of categories last year. Three catches, 54 yards, and that 50 yard touchdown so far in this one. Isaiah Green pulls it back and picks up six on first down. Still going, but they say some part of him touched the turf. And I think he knows it. He just looks like he's having a heck of a lot of fun out there. He does, making all the right reads. This offense is based on the RPO concept. Ooh, man, that's close. It looked like maybe his knee. Understandable flag thrown there. Absolutely. So they got to start at the 13-yard line. It's a keeper. Green uses the stiff arm and picks up four or five. Yeah, the slot receiver was not on the line of scrimmage. That's why you got to look down at the referee. Make sure you're on the line. They fake the screen pass and look out. Tyler Brown with his first sack. The transfer from Robert Morris saw uh, sparing playing time last season. With Jaquan Uli out, the hometown kid Tyler Brown comes in and gets the huge sack to back him up, put him third and ball. Last drive, backed up again. Second straight time, they start from their own 13-yard line. Green keeps it. Gets across the 20 yard line, ridden down by Ethan Castleberry. They do, look at these, look at these, these big bodies back there. Third and short. All they need is a yard. King running east and west, gets the corner, has the first down, knocked out of bounds. He wanted a penalty marker for a personal foul, but doesn't get it. He does get the first down, though. Good vision right there. Liam Cawthon was was there on the edge, just could not hold contain long enough. Five and a half to go here in the first quarter, uh, first half rather, and that pass is caught by Corey Gamage. And he spins his way to a first down. The drive that started at their own 13. Up the middle and all kinds of room. There goes Tyler King. Cuts it back inside the 10 to the 8. This is what Tyler King can do once he gets going. Look at that. He has the vision to find it, to sift through that hole. And then once he gets his foot down, he goes north and south. And they expect him to take a huge step forward here as a sophomore. Dumps it off to the tight end for the touchdown, Xavier Gaines. And a tip of the cap to Tim Cramsey, the offensive coordinator, who drew that one up like a basketball coach in a timeout. Number 11, Xavier Gaines, lined up like an offset fullback on the other side of the line. And if you're on that BMI defense, Xavier Gaines, he used to be a quarterback, made the switch to tight end, and he's a beast. Do not want to give the ball back to Marshall right away. Their offense feels pretty good about their plan right now. You do not want to let them get any more points on the board before half. 
They're 0 for 7 on third down so far. This might be four down territory. They run it for maybe two. They went 87 yards in 242, their last possession. King. Boy, he delivered a hit. Will Bunton was coming in to try to lay a lick on King, and King lowered the shoulder, and Bunton was the one who went straight back. <laughs> Green throws over the middle, it's caught, and that's a first down. Xavier Gaines, who caught the touchdown pass to cap off the last drive, makes the reception. They just make it look too easy. Xavier Gaines out there, he feels he has outside leverage. Just run away from the defender. Simple pitch and catch. And now Gaines to throw it again. Swing pass to King. He stays on his feet. Still on his feet. Incredible. Are you kidding me? I thought he was down two or three times already. This right here. Unbelievable. It's like a magician coming out of that one. He spins, hand down. He barely went down at the very end. He almost broke four or five tackles that play. 50 seconds to go in the first half. Fires it over the middle and caught again. It's another tight end, Armani Levias. So many unknowns going into your first regular season game. You don't really know how your team's going to react once they get into the heat of the battle. Green feeling the pressure again. Steps out of it. He's into field goal range. Oh, huge hit. And that's going to be a flag. I know how good Alex Thompson is. They know that he could start at most of these Conference USA schools. As he spikes it, because you have to, the clock was going to continue to run. So they wanted to reset second down here with 19 seconds to go. But he wanted to come back. He and Isaiah Green are, are good friends. They both root for each other. And, and he had a good idea that he's probably going to get a shot at some point. The way this game is played these days, and as many times as Isaiah Green runs the ball. We'll see what he has here. First and 10 from the 11. It's a handoff. I don't think VMI was ready for that. Tyler King takes it down to the one. Clock stops because Marshall calls its last timeout. Now, so now we'll see if they run it. Five seconds left, no timeouts. Up the middle, touchdown, Brandon Knox. And he got the shove from his quarterback, Alex Thompson, to make sure he got in as time expires in the first half. Watch Thompson shove him after he hands him the ball. Just follows him in. I like it. Thompson could have pulled this ball and just followed him in like he's his lead blocker right there, too. Looks like that's a big reason why he... West Virginia to Idaho on a short week. It's Friday night at 9 p.m. Eastern time. And then they're back home here to host Ohio and Cincinnati. So it's a really interesting non-conference slate for Marshall. Ohio and Cincinnati, two teams expected to compete and perhaps win their respective conferences. Knox picks up the first down. Now I think Marshall I'm guessing, but I think I'm right. He's going to want to keep the ball on the ground, get the clock moving a little bit, and try to get out of here. Now, Knox, named to the Warful Award list. You want, you want the ball. If you're a running back, if you're a receiver, maybe try to get a few deep balls when you take a shot, maybe, on third and long or something. Well, they snapped that ball with one on the play clock. Our play clock up there on the ticker not working tonight but they are running it here and they're running it right up the gut Knox just carried everybody there to a first down yeah this offensive line just doing work and that's what they do they wear you down as the game goes <laughs> look at them this is that's their dream getting the shove 
Green rolling out, sets up down the middle, it's caught. But Taven Richardson could not stay on his feet. That's why he pounded the turf. The play clock inside five. Pocket holds, and it's another third down conversion. Now six of ten as he finds Gamage. His own line just so stout. They work so well together. Look at him. They make it look easy. A lot of offensive coordinators put a lot on that center. Sometimes they'll make protection calls. They really have to, to figure out a lot of different things, as you see him doing right here pre snap. Outland Trophy and Remington watch list. Are you yeah, kidding me? He's on all the linemen watch lists. Green going deep. Single coverage. Damage makes the grab. First touchdown for the red shirt freshman from Delray Beach, Florida. That's where I live, so I'm excited. It starts up front always right here. The offensive line gives them all day to throw here. They're throwing at Caleb Tucker again. Caleb Tucker's been on an island all night long. Coverage still not bad up at Marshall. And this is his first touchdown as a collegian. That drawstring, you want to be fast. Willie Johnson on his way out. He was shaking up earlier in the game. Looks like he's headed to the locker room as Channing Hames picks up a sack. A little miscommunication there from the VMI offense. Reese Dinsky turns around and fakes it to nobody here. Great start for the sophomore season. So Alex Thompson will take over. Backup quarterback from inside his own one. And he's going deep. Has his man. Another freshman, Brock Thompson. Alex Thompson in his own end zone. Only bringing four there from VMI defensive front. Has enough time for those. Picked up four. Second down and six. Throwing again. And it's Gamage. Good run after the catch as well. Gamage with his fifth catch of the game. But just get some game reps. All this will pay off later in the season when you're in a, a tight game and you, you can rely on some of these game reps that you've had. They've been doing that all night, but now is when you really start having fun when you have a 42 to 7 lead. Thompson's going to keep that. And direct traffic, push his way, sideline. Can he get in? Oh, -ho! almost stretched that ball to the pylon. He heard you mention earlier that he felt like a stack of Jenga blocks. He decided to put the rope in it. Look at him juke multiple people here. Almost looks like a broken play, like he was supposed to give that. Watch this. Juke. Look at that. Oh, I would be. You so all. That's close. almost a thing to challenge, but no, he just came up short, almost nipped the pylon with the football. See if he calls his own number here. Nope, it's Knox, and he's got his second one-yard touchdown of the game. That's a team player, Alex Thompson. After you just did all that work and play before you. Yeah, I'm shocked we never did, never got to do that. <laughs> First down VMI in the red zone, in the end zone, and almost a great catch by J.B. on Laura. He hung up there. Good coverage from Micah Abraham. Sam Birdie in motion. Again to the end zone and incomplete. Jack Cawson, the intended receiver. The coverage from Carry on Morrell. As they begin a really important week. Boise on the road on Friday night. Samino Walden on the reception. They've had control pretty much throughout. It was a shaky start, back-to-back -back three and outs, but 
Then they put up 14 quick points in the first quarter. And added on 14 more in the second. Evans again the carry. A little inside baseball here, but Evans wears number 27 normally. But on special teams plays, when he's kick returning, he's got to put on number five. So he came out right after returning the kick. He got number five on. Not enough time to switch back. Huh. Basically a play-by-play exactly. -play guy's dream. Good to be back. Another year of college football here on stadium. A lot to look forward to from Conference USA. Mm. Newman loses his helmet, and the ball comes out, but the helmet flag came out down. first, and a flag went down. Are they going to say they dumped him once his helmet came off the play should stop? I want to watch the replay here, because if you're a defender and you're already engaged, you see there's no foul? Let's see right here. His helmet pops off. Helmet pops off. See, you have no idea that the helmet came off. I mean, he's not. He wasn't now. No, that's for sure. November the 15th against Louisiana Tech. What do you think that is? Tells you what you need to know about Devin Singletary. And we worked a few of his games last year. He's an absolute stud. I'm happy for him. Hopefully, he has a very successful career in Buffalo. That's Sheldon Evans. And a good carry for Marshall. I'm not going to move around. I just can't. I don't want to leave, move around, and I'm not a very good coach. I wish I was. Mm. Evans almost got free. Able to get the corner in the first down. Coached those Marshall teams with Randy Moss, Chad Pennington, Byron Leftwich. There's another touchdown for the Thundering Herd. Garrett Morrell. A tight end. And it's the first time Marshall has scored 50 plus in four seasons. Morrell is similar to a touchdown caught by Armani Levias earlier where he starts on one side behind the line of scrimmage. If you're watching stuff, you need to have a plan going into it. This is what I want to get out of it. And I think he's already taking that next step. He's still a, a young player here. Go, Porter! It's a good tackle by Owen Porter. Make sure to wrap up, and I, I think we heard one of his family members yelling. Right. Somebody's juiced for him. Everybody feels good tonight at this Marshall team. Well, he's a hometown kid. Redshirt freshman from right here in Huntington, went to Spring Valley High School. So he's got some uh, family and friends in the stands, no question. Newman just gets rid of it, but that was an arm punt. Intercepted in a and a nice move as well. Newman's down on the field. Hopefully no one steps on him here if they return it all the way. It's Jalen McLean sap with the interception. <laughs> Newman got smoked. His helmet came off. He is up and walking off the field under his own power. Been the quarterback the rest of the way. <laughs> Papillion. Well, he's got some moves. Nice burst of speed. Give credit to the left side of that offensive line. They might be running another play here. Papillion's got it. Down to the one. That's it. You're right. Doc Holliday is now walking out near midfield, and that will do it. 56 to 17. Marshall leads the whole way. They've now won 19 straight when scoring first. And those two head coaches. Very fond of one another. And 
now Doc Holliday is already thinking Boise State Friday night Boise State Friday night how are we going to stop Boise State let's get to the film room let's go let's wrap this up let's get to the film room come on let's break All down right, Boise State right now yeah that'll be a big one looking forward to watching that one on Friday night the Marshall thundering herd and the Boise State Broncos for my broadcast partner AJ Hawk I'm Chris Hassel saying good night from Huntington the final score Marshall 56, VMI 17.